destroy me. Brooklyn Baldy. How are you all? All I do is win, win, win. Yeah. Uh, thank you for tuning in to Double Street. This is episode nine. I am joined by uh, comedian and Nick's super fan, Gil Ozeri. Hi, hello. Welcome, Hi, Joe. Gil. Thanks for having me. Um, but we are going to watch, it's the Battle of New York, Brooklyn Nets versus the um, uh, New York Knickerbockers. Um, and I'm really excited. I wore this for you. Oh, this my is God. a shirt I bought at Urban Outfitters <laughs> in, like, 2007. Beautiful colors. Thank By the you. way, I feel like that, like, uh, battle has already been won. The battle is think? over, yeah. <laughs> the Nets have become one of those teams that feel like when you play NBA 2K, uh -huh. and it, like, after, like, three seasons, like, there have been so many fake trades that, like, you don't know, you don't know who anyone is, yeah. and there's, like, a bunch of, like, computer-generated players, like, Trendon Watford. I mean, I feel like Mikhail, everyone knows Mikhail. Mikhail's Claxton's there. Claxton's great. How are you feeling about, as a Knicks fan, how are you feeling right now? What's the vibe check? I'm, uh, I'm feeling good. Um, I'm a little, you know, I was discouraged by Julius Randle being out for the season. Yeah, um, yeah. But um, so excited about Jalen Brunson and now OG's back. Well, actually, what one player I looked up, Dennis Schroeder of the, of the Brooklyn Nets, uh, uh -huh. anti-vax. Is he? Yeah. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, wow. I and guess. we're anti-vax too, right? We yes. Are. The New York Knicks had an incredible game last yes. night. Yes. So they might be a little gassed from that's last right. evening. They, they but they do have a, they have an opportunity to get the second seed. That's huge. Just so you know, one of the things we do throughout the game okay. is there are certain players who, according to basketball reference, have nicknames, official nicknames. Okay. And a lot of players do not. So Dante DiVincenzo. Ragu. A, the big ragu. Yes. Yeah. And that's a, apparently a Laverne <laughs> and Shirley reference. Is it? Yeah. I didn't know that. Uh, oh, the big ragu. Is. The big ragu. Okay, I, yeah. I didn't know it was the big. I just thought yeah. it was ragu. And his high school is called Selzanium, which sound I wrote, which sounds like it should be an element on the periodic table. <laughs> <laughs> if you're gonna be an NBA player, you better shoot the ball. <laughs> you better be able to shoot the ball. Bogey, Bogdanovich. He doesn't have a nickname. I'm but thinking because there's another Bogdanovich uh -huh. in the league who's yeah. also very good and yeah. has a similar skill set. I think Baldy Bogdanovich, <laughs> like, cause he's- For the Nick one? Yeah, cause yeah. he's kind of balding. He is kind of balding. Yeah, Bal yeah. Maybe balding. Balding Bogdanovich, <laughs> yeah, okay, I like that. I was gonna write that down. <laughs> like, yeah, don't like- Don't, don't he's skip not- Skip ahead to the bald, bald yeah. He's balding. Yeah, he's balding. I wanna thank the Minnesota Timberwolves. They sent me a Nas Reed beach towel. No way. Yeah, I got one. What? What? Why do they make Nas they Reed made beach towels? One night, <laughs> one night they they. Oh, it was like a. It was giveaway. like a giveaway. Uh -huh. They gave. They made twenty thousand <laughs> full size beach towels. It's incredible. Very that would be happy. Such a funny find at Goodwill. Oh yeah, yeah. It, I'm. You know I'm never. Gonna be like eighteen thousand at Goodwill. You got in it. A couple of years. Well, I'll, you know what? I'll ask you. Uh, Jason Concepcion was here. Okay. Another Knicks fan. And I asked him what his all-time favorite white guy Knicks lineup would be. Steve Novak. Steve Novak. Okay, great. David Lee. David Lee. Great. He's sort of the big man. We got Baldi. DiVincenzo. DiVincenzo. All right. Hartenstein, maybe? Oh, he's yeah. not. I know he's not. He's not. That's I right. I just learned that. He did. We had him on the list of white guys, but I guess he's not. He's not. He is one quarter black. I think, yeah, I guess, yeah. Yeah, it's this guess. is a good, and this is good. <laughs> I like to get into eugenics, too. Um, <laughs> you wanted, is this what you said? You said Israel-Palestine, you said eugenics. You yeah, wanted yeah, to talk yeah. about. Yeah, 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 yeah. Because it's the Battle of New York. You are allergic to alcohol. I am. But I bought a, um, a pre-made Manhattan. Wow. So I'm going to have a little bit of that. And I did chill this. That's amazing. I chilled this glass. Where do you get something like that? That's like. Um, I, it, I'm so happy you asked because I'm desperate for sponsors. And there is a lovely little um, liquor store. I would say mixology store near me in the east side of Los Angeles called Barkeeper. Okay. So if they are willing to um, sponsor me, 
Yeah, please put this on the screen. Any potential sponsorship deals, you can contact me. That is the show's email, and that is a true P.O. box. So if you want to send anything, truly anything, anything, anything yeah, anything dangerous. You remember when um, Takashi69 was saying he was the king of New York? I do remember that. was that. crazy. That was Where a crazy he time. Left, huh? He's well, done. he, yeah, he, he, got, he, got, he got arrested, and then uh -huh. he, he was a rat. And then right, is in right, is in right. um he was in witness protection program but then kept flaunting and like live streaming work. That's what was. I'm saying. I feel yeah. like he was like doing. A, is he gone? Is he in jail or something? Uh, wait. If, if does anyone know where Takashi Six Nine is? Comment if you guys know where he is, what he's up to. There's just something so funny that like baseball managers wear the outfits. Mm -hmm. And I kind of wish is, that was so the funny. case in, in basketball. <laughs> <laughs> or like Tim's is like, Tibbs. It, yeah. You, you yeah. know what would surprise me about sitting so close was seeing that Tibbs wears jeans. And that freaked me out a yeah. little bit. It's like when you like, I don't know, it's just like seeing your parents in a different light. I don't like, like I don't like the cat, the like, business casual look that coaches are yeah. doing now. Like get, I liked the- You like Pat Riley. I like the suits. You like the suits. Yeah. Okay. It's a like you're the grown up. Here. This feels like it, it's it's like come from football a little. Exactly. Bit. Well, like, it's like yeah. What are you gonna take your daughter to soccer? Yeah. <laughs> like get out of here. Get be a grown up. You're the only grown up. Who's the hottest coach now? The hottest coach? Yeah. I know it's like problematic, but I think it might be Ime Udoka. He's I he's not my type. I don't think. Oh, I would. <laughs> you would rail. I, I would rail. I would rail. <laughs> <laughs> Ime Udoka. Yeah. So yeah, make sure to clip that. Tibbs would destroy me. Yo, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Him and the, the the Memphis coach are... This is a good conversation. Yeah, this is coaches. fun, right? <laughs> All right. Well, I mean, sound off in the comments for any coaches you, what, you find sexually attractive. <laughs> I think it's actually good and progressive and confident uh -huh. as a man, a straight man, to just acknowledge when someone's hot. Of course. And it doesn't happen much. And, and I think we are breaking barriers right now. And this is important. That's the point. Yeah, that's yeah. great. Are you familiar with Fiverr? It's like this sad, sad website where you hire like indentured servants to like okay. make stuff for you. Okay. And so I hired a man to make, write a song for the halftime show, and he promised me it would be ready by 4.30 p.m. And how much do you pay them? It's you know not what? five bucks, is it, it? Sometimes things are five bucks, but yeah. I, I rush ordered this song, okay. and I'll say, was it over 50 bucks? Yeah, <laughs> and he has not delivered. Was it over well, $70? Yeah. Oh my God, really? Yeah, I wanted this <laughs> song really bad, and, and he promised me it would be ready by, if he doesn't, oh, I'm gonna be so mad. I'm gonna be so mad at this man in Albania doing <laughs> doing work for me over the internet. Can I pull something? Mikhail Bridges, I just learned this. Um, this is this is slide um, six. Uh, oh my God, I was watching this. Day and it's been about how many years since I've been eating Chipotle since 2013, 14. So about 10 years. So my bowl order, like your white rice, no beans, double chicken, medium and mild salsa, corn and lettuce. Can you imagine eating Chipotle every day? That's cr it's crazy. That's but I mean like you find something you love. I mean, getting diarrhea. Getting <laughs> <laughs> okay, this guy is just chatted me. 10 minutes, I'll send you the song. I hope you will love it. Okay, so that was seven minutes ago. Okay, wow. All right, so this might still happen during wow, that time. This that's is so just exciting. Me. I'm so excited um, now. I'm gonna send you the music backing track and the music all together. Yeah, I don't, yeah, okay. I'm gonna send you the what? lyrics. You think I? <laughs> and the music sheet. Yeah, okay. <laughs> In um, case you wanna play it. Yeah, I don't, I actually don't know after reading that, I don't know what I'm getting. <laughs> um, you got it. Yeah. Okay, so we're gonna pause. So basically what I asked this guy last night, basically what I asked was James Dolan, the owner of the Knicks, mm -hmm. has a, famously has a blues band called JD and the Straight Shot. Yeah. I think the most quintessential New York song of our lifetime is Empire State of Mind. Okay. And I was like, I wonder if I could merge the two somehow. So I went on Fiverr and I found a guy who um, specializes in blues covers. And I asked for a blues cover of Empire State of Mind. <laughs> and I do, I have not heard it yet because it's it's so late. It's way You're past halftime. So I'm a virgin. I have not heard this either. So this will be uh, our first listen of um, this Fiverr man's rendition oh, so of sick. 
And if it's good, I will say his name. If okay. it's bad, Here I we are. This was supposed to be our halftime show. Now I'm down tropic I'm the next and narrow But I be hooked forever I'm the new Sinatra And since I made it here I can make it anywhere They love me everywhere I used to cup and haul up All of my Dominicans Rather than on the Broadway Brought me back to that McDonald's Took it to my stair spot 560 State Street Catch me in the kitchen Like Simmons waving pastry okay, Living down the A Street Off white legs so Driving sauce so In New York you know, you know, Wow <laughs> Sure, I met the Yankee hat more than the Yankee oh cane. Got up in the ink cloud, now you're the inside. Into with the wow. gas, got the bug with the skin. Not now, not being facetious. I yes. think this is better <laughs> than the original. <laughs> At this point, yeah. So I'm, I'm, I paid about seven thousand Albanian lex, <laughs> and uh, that was a hot. That was leg. incredible. Yeah. Let's hear. Yay. Can we say his name? Yes, now? I will say his name. His name is Slim Ben Aicha. Slim Ben Aicha goes by at Countess 777. Okay, so wow. David's giving us a lot of info about, uh, I'm a job creator, basically. <laughs> I've always said that. <laughs> Running for office, by the way, you are, right? Me? Yeah. yeah. As a job creator? Yeah, yeah. I am, um, I hate taxes. Uh, <laughs> but you should actually, maybe you should get him to do an entire album. You know like what? a full album. Uh... Yeah, maybe like for the playoffs, we have one song for every yeah. city. <laughs> Look, I love him. I'm gonna, I'm gonna hire him again. That was incredible. That was great. And see if he can do other genres. You yeah. Know? Let's let him sort of spread his wings. Yeah. I really, I'm on cloud, cloud nine. I'm like, I'm, I'm not on. You know what? I feel like Bashar. We should just get into Bashar. Yes, let's we talk were about Bashar interrupted, for a second. and it was good that we were interrupted. So um, you got sent this video a couple days ago. You said. TikTok fed me a video of Bashar. So Bashar is actually a man named Daryl Anka, who is a Canadian man um, who claims to be a medium and is a vessel. He's channeling an in alien. Yes, entity. in which an alien entity takes over his body. Who's named Bashar. Who's named Bashar. So this is Daryl Anka explaining what Bashar is. It, Bashar is not the entity's name in oh, their yeah. reality. They are telepathic with each other. They don't need names, but he knew we needed to call him something. I am half Irish and half Syrian. My father's side is Middle Eastern. It is a Middle Eastern word. After I started channeling, when somebody did speak the language, they came up to me and said, do you understand what Bashar means? And I said, no, I have no idea. He said, it actually is a Syrian word. It means messenger or bringer of good news. So I said, okay, I get it. He had to choose something out of my background somewhere that is at least representative of what he's doing and allows us to give him a name, even though it's not literally his name. And so now, okay, this is the video I was fed. Okay. And I, I was a little stoned late at night <laughs> and I watched this video 30 times and I was crying laughing. Thank you for being here, have fun. I will see you later. <laughs> I will see you later. Bye-bye. <laughs> here we go. Or it'll say good day to you this day of your time. How are you all? <laughs> good day to you. Okay. Uh, now, Daryl Anka, by the way, he says Bashar may not be real. He will admit it. Yeah. He will what does that mean? He will, he'll say that it might be me making something up and channeling some part of my... What kind of hedge is but that? So he's like, you don't have to believe me or not. Just take what I'm saying um, for the advice rather than for whether or not you believe that Bashar is real or not. But then it's like, well, why am I gonna believe Daryl Anka? No, we won't. We won't. We won't. I wanna we, hear Bashar. Bashar, yeah. Bashar just does crowd work. <laughs> is the connection between the dolphins and our intergalactic friends from other planets. 
they have a very strong connection to the star system of Sirius. And thus then they are in telepathic communication very often with consciousnesses from that star system and from that dimension of reality. Thus then they are very, very good at helping you connect to the Sirius energy as well through their vibration. To me, what's funny about it is uh -huh. that he's a extroverted Canadian man. Yeah. But he's not channeling an alien. He's channeling Warwick Davis. Like he's, you know what I mean? Like his uh -huh. delivery is exactly how like Warwick Davis would <laughs> deliver these lines, but then he has this like dumbass Canadian accent uh -huh. on top of it. There briefly, the Brooklyn Nets mascot was this guy, the Brooklyn Knight. Like Brooklyn Knight. Brooklyn Knight. The Brooklyn Knight, and he was like a like a knight uh, with armor. Oh my god! But that only, he only lasted a year. So somebody in charge really likes like a play on yeah. yeah, yeah. It was Megan Amram was oh, oh, <laughs> worked for the Brooklyn Nets. <laughs> That's game. That's game. Okay, so the Knicks have prevailed. They are the kings of New York. I want to thank you all for watching. Interlude. You got to thank Slim one more time. And thank you, Slim. I will put his info up on the. Um, the description and um, you're gonna also be I, we gotta make shirts for balding yes we will i'm gonna make a basketball i promise okay okay um, well thank you for watching thank you thank you bye yeah, of course,